Diablos faced with a must-win game here in the nightcap. The bouncers feature two of the game's most dynamic players. Rob Wilson is the man on defense, and former developmental player Chris Young has become a spectacular high flyer. Coach Hernando Planels, this guy will get in your face even when you're winning. And how about the Diablos? They have a roster of role players, but we are seeing some emerging stars in Virginia Tech product David Jackson and Anthony White out of USC. Diablos coach Mark Ellis has helped this squad turn things around. After a one and three start, the Diablos have won their last three to climb into playoff contention. Let's get it started with the bounce off. And look at Rob Wilson just clearing David Jackson from the middle of the floor. He knows it's football season around the corner. Wilson underneath the basket, kicks it out to Rick Maiden. Maiden up from the top round, throws it down. The bouncers jump out to 3-0. David Jackson on the attack with the Diablos, and Jackson meeting Rob Wilson at the rim. Loose ball picked up by White, who frees himself. Gets in for the J right there. He can't hit, and Maiden comes up with the carom. Nice pass over to Young. We have liftoff. Chris Young with a booty call in Ray Ross's face. <laughs> look, at, look at Chris Young throw down this devastating jam. Gordon to the rack. Rob Wilson is going to have none of that. The bounce is looking for more. Young again. No, this time the ghetto bird is shot down by White. White, the big dog at six foot eight and long arms, has really come into his own lately. White again with the stop. But Wilson answers with the hammer. Oh, that's nice. 6'9, 250, just coming right at you. And Ross in the corner, feeds it to Gordon, mid-bounce. Wraparound pass to Ross. And Ross with that soft touch off the glass. I mean, that's just great court awareness. Gordon finds the open man looking for the extra pass and his team the benefactor. Diablos finally got on the board with that one. Wilson hit as he was moving into the tramp. Gordon with a cheap reach after Wilson took off. We'll have a face-off. Wilson is much bigger and stronger than Gordon, but Gordon has been known to pull out some real tricks in these situations. Wilson drives hard, but Gordon makes a nice stop. Great timing by Gordon. He's a little bit early, and he recognizes that and goes right for Wilson's arm. Wilson with the inbound, knocked away by Jackson. And the Diablos forcing a turnover. And White, length of the floor over to Ross. Ross attacks the rim. Wilson deflects, but Ross putting back his own. Ross keeping the play alive, does a nice job of maintaining his control and coming away with the three. Bailey puts it up for three. No, can't hit this one. And the ball out to Mason Gordon. Gordon up the floor with it and a whistle. And we will have a face off. Gordon, the leader on the court for his team as they fight for their playoff lives. A loss here could really end their season. Here comes Gordon on the approach. He can't convert. Young with a nice stop. Young simply got higher than Gordon. He was able to control the joust and make a great stop. Going to the break, Chris Young and the bouncers up by four. back after the face off the Diablos with possession. Gordon will inbound. Throws up the lob, David Jackson jackknifes his body all the way around for the finish. The bouncers all with their backs to the basket as Jackson alertly sneaks behind them and gets the three point slam. Bailey into the front court. Thinks about a three but then kicks it over to Maiden. Maiden and Bailey, nice little two man game going on. Bailey takes a long one and hits it. From the side, Anthony White up to the rim. No, Rob Wilson puts a stop to that. And White chases down his own miss, gives it out to Ross. Ross with the up and under, no good. And Ross grabs the miss and kicks it to Jackson. Jackson, over to Gordon. Gordon, tough angle shot from the baseline to narrow the gap. 3.50 to go in the first half. Oh, you see the popcorn on that one, though. A little Cracker Jack, Young and White. Young deserves a prize at the end of that one. The defender cannot double bounce the offensive player and sabotage his bounce. That's a good call by the ref. 
Young, his team's top scorer. White, the Oblo's top defender. This should be a good one. Oh, Young drops in and just <laughs> decimates Anthony White. Young rocks White and sends his headgear flying. He gets only two points for that because he didn't touch the rim. Oh! So 3-12 to go in the first half. Diablos in a must-win game. He's holding! Here comes Young. Oh, so sometimes in slam ball, the miss is more fun to watch than the make. But Ross now pushes the ball off the floor. Look at the speed! And he misses a gimme. Young again going right back to White. Oh, good one. That's what I like. I like to see him meet him up top and then bang him out of the way. Bailey doesn't hit it from the outside. Dion's got it again. Swings it over to Young. Young, oh, the stylish fadeaway jam. But that's only a two point because he made no contact with the rim, but just a sweet deuce anyway. White back on the other end, and he takes a cue from Young, yet another two point throw down. White's going in for a little smooch with Wilson. Oh, that's definitely, that, that's definitely over taunting. The referee's over having, a, having tea and coffee. And this is what we talk about, that balance of intensity, but playing it smart. And a foul is called for contact after the whistle. So a face-off between our two big stoppers, Anthony White and Rob Wilson. Let's go, hey, hey. Hey, why you got two fouls. Settle down. You can hear Coach Ellis asking his big man to settle down and take care of business. So White on the attack. Oh! Oh, Pat, I'm gonna tell you like this. White got in Wilson's face. They went nose to nose. They're the same height, same weight, but look at the angle. Wilson shies away from the contact. That's no low contendere. Diablos with the ball after the faceoff. Ross on the island, tries to get back off. Finally finds Jackson on the outside. Jackson puts it up, no good. And Maiden streaking down the court for the bouncers. Maiden going coast to coast, oh! Oh, what about that? That was a Spider-Man move. Straight up gecko on that by Maiden. I'm claiming radioactive blood. Maiden throws down and then sticks to the wall with the squeegee maneuver. <laughs> White makes the move, stopped by Wilson, but Ross retrieves it for the Diablos. Ross penetrates, kicks it over to Jackson. Ross with it again, though. High archer over Wilson, off the glass for two. And Maiden with the ball right now, off. Nails it for three, the bouncers extend the lead 22-17. Maiden with a nice inside-outside game. Jackson, well, off the lip, rim grinder through Wilson. David Jackson is playing with a broken jaw, broken finger, a laundry list of other injuries. This guy's showing me some amazing courage. Just five seconds to go in the half. Bailey to beat the clock for three. Nice shooter's touch. And the bouncers will carry a five-point lead into the half. The Diablo season at stake here right now. Diablos need this win. The bouncers are already in, and one of the guys who got them there is Chris Young. Ghetto Bird taking flight. Sending out a massive booty call. With the bounce, look at this! From the undrafted developmental player to the most relentless offensive force in the game, Young has become the leading scorer in the league, dropping 40 points in a single game. Young uses his track and field background to skip across the trampolines and attack the rim at maximum velocity. As long as the sport's gonna be around, I wanna be around. Gives me a chance to be the professional athlete that I always dreamed of being. The bouncers with a five-point lead at halftime, but Coach Planells is not happy. We're attacking, we're attacking, we're attacking, and you're getting blocked by Calvin Patterson. Calvin Patterson, of all people. That little runt is putting a foot in your ass. You can't tell me that we're playing hard. You can't tell me that at all. I'm tired of this. You guys like coming at me yelling? No. You guys like that? Because I don't like it. I don't like that at all. 
if I gotta go come here and yell at you and throw stuff, get crazy, because we're f***ing up all the damn time. You tell me what makes you guys men. I need guys to play. Not one of you guys want to come out and play. You're letting Mason going woo the whole damn time. Every time he goes woo, I want your I want in his mouth. I want him to shut up. I don't give a damn about these refs. I don't give a damn about the Diablos. I give a damn about you, 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 and you. And I give a damn about making the championship. We will be right back with more Slam Ball right after this. Start of the second half of a very physical game so far. There's the bounce off. Rob Wilson getting rough right at the bounce off. Drives White right out of the center court. We saw him do that at the start of the game. The Diablos gain control. Albert Jones in the front court. His jumper just picked like a grape from Rob Wilson. Rob Wilson controls, makes a nice outlet to Bailey. And Bailey finds Young from the top tram. X marks the spot as Young throws down another thunderous jam. Anthony White coming flying back to the other end, strikes one for the Diablos, throws one down on Wilson. White with a big stretch off the right side, and Wilson again takes a little bit of a bailout. And Maiden with the dribble, finds Bailey all alone, and Bailey puts it up, connects. And Ross all the way back to the other end. Here comes Ross, no dice. Grabbing his own miss right there. Try to set something up for the Diablos. Wilson with some pressure. Ross is picked and the bouncers are on the run again. Bailey leaves it for Young. Oh, Young with a bungee cord like descent into the belly of David Jackson. We've got a whistle and a charge is being called on Young. Young is not happy. But that's a good call, Pat. Take a look at Jackson, how he holds his ground and Young almost leaps right over him. Jackson took one for the team right there. So on the turnover, the Diablos will take the ball. Over to Gordon. Gordon to the tramp, and we've got a popcorn call. You know, again, the popcorn effect is when the defensive player deliberately interferes with the offensive player's bounce. So we will have a face-off with Gordon and Dion Bailey. Mason's fans are hopeful. He's going to give them something to pound the glass about on this one. But fans decide, more importantly, keep their playoff hopes alive. He does. Bailey didn't give me much effort right there, but Mason Gordon goes up and gives me the nice tomahawk and brings his team within five. Mason Gordon, solid, solid effort tonight. So Patterson to the dribble. Big check right there, blast him back. Lobs it up for Ross, look at that. Oh, what an assist by Patterson. The boy just disregarded Bailey like a, like a used candy wrapper and hands off the milk and cookie to his boy, Ross. Look at Ross, though, high up there. Somebody get him some oxygen. Ben Berlowski in the game now for the bouncers. Bailey will bounce back out. No, Wilson taps out the miss to keep it alive. And Ross up with the ball, heading the other way. Ross, top tramp, nice aerial view of Maiden's dome right before Ross dunks it. I impressive, Diablos on a 9-0 run to take the lead. Right now, Berlowski in the corner. Now Maiden with it. Nice ball movement from the bouncers and Berlowski. And in comes Berlowski, easy jam, breaking the scoring drought. So David Jackson with the ball. Oh, oh, nice! That was a slobber knocker. <laughs> Berlowski brings the paint with a Ray Lewis-like hit on Jackson. It looks to me like Jackson still had a foot on the floor, making that a clean hit, not a foul. I'd say the refs missed that one. Well, we have a face-off with a couple of bangers here. Berlowski and Jackson, where every point is critical at this point in the game. Jackson's been a little quiet tonight. Maybe those injuries are finally slowing him down. Oh, man, Jackson is in pain. Oh, that hurts me. Berlowski goes up and puts his elbow pad right into 
Jackson's nads. Yeah, Jackson's jewels taking such a hard hit. Those of you at home keeping track of the laundry list of injuries of this guy, I mean, simply put, the guy is getting worked. Got a broke jaw, a broke finger, a contusion on his thigh. Back in play, Jackson with the ball. Jackson loses the handle. And Young with the pick on a roll. Knocks on the kibosh, and the bouncers go up by five. The Diablo's playoff hopes are hanging by a thread. There's only three minutes and 30 seconds left in this game. Carlson gets laid out by Wilson. The ball, though, over to White, and Wilson, with a great hustle, is able to take out White as well. Huge play by the bouncer stopper. And loose ball, Carlson, again with hustle right here, comes up with it. Look at this. White and Wilson are starting to go at it. They have been in each other's faces all night, and it's all on the table right now. A shove by White, both squads on the floor, and it's Bethlehem in the corner. But there's so much intensity going on in this game. The playoffs are on the line. Neither team wants to give an inch. I'm surprised this thing doesn't happen more often. If somebody was hitting me all day, I'd want to throw some haymakers, too. I, I couldn't agree more. It is so surprising that these guys don't go at it more often. The intensity, when you're hitting each other that frequently. Let's take a little look on the ref cam here. Right in the middle of it all, if I, was, if I was in there, I could tell you, I'd be feeling I want to get my Irish on. No, no you'd be in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> so order has been restored. No penalty assessed. We are back in the game. Diablos with possession. And with just two and a half to go, every basket at this point critical. Here comes Patterson. And look at that pick by Wilson. You can goaltend those shots off the tramps. Young, over to Berlowski. Berlowski up for three, no. Here comes Ross, left side. Ross dishes it to Jackson. Jackson goes in, by, oh, it gets, yeah, for two. Diablos down only by three, fighting for their playoff lives right now. Here comes Wilson. Wilson one-on-one -on -one with the enemy, and White, White wins this battle. Patterson ahead to Jackson. Here comes Jackson. Jackson throws it down, six in a row for the Diablos, and 10 points for Jackson on the night. Wilson up the floor, great defensive checks by the Diablos. In the home stretch of a huge game, and we are tied up at the moment. Bailey's been money all night, no. No, not, not there, and Patterson grabs the loose ball and is fouled by Wilson. You cannot hit a player with possession of the ball until he starts to dribble. Rob Wilson is the bigger player, but he's been battling Anthony White all night. We'll see if he has anything left. So Patterson with a serious size disadvantage. Playoffs at stake right here. Oh, nice teardrop. The Diablos take the lead with that face off. Most of you have never shot a ball from a trampoline. You have no idea how great a shot that is. The touch, the arc, that's incredible. Diablos up by two. In comes David Jackson. He can't connect. And the ball, everyone's scrambling, rolling around. Finally to Wilson. Wilson flies it up to Young. Young over to Bailey. Bailey's gonna take the three. He misses. And Patterson gains control for the Diablos. 48 seconds to go in this game. And the Diablos only lead by two. This is a must-win game for the Diablos. White comes into the trap, hammered on his way in. He's able to kick it back out to Patterson. Be trying to beat the shot clock. Oh, oh nice! Oh. Great Ross with the over-the-shoulder slam. Diablos now lead by five. This is, this is just great instincts. Look at that. Look at the body control. Sweet. So the bouncer's down by five. Bailey for a three. He puts it up. No. And he is—he was hot in the first half, but he's killing his team right here in the second with three straight misses. Patterson there with an unnecessary shot, but Jones hustles it down. And so there it is. The Diablos win it 42-37, and they will move on to the postseason play. The mob, they're gonna have to watch from the sidelines. The Reebok MVP is Anthony White. He did a great job, intimidating performance on both ends of the floor. What a tremendous job by Anthony White tonight. And the play of the game goes to Ray Ross, who goes to the top of the backboard to deliver the squawk on Wilson. The 2002 Slam Ball playoffs are set. Next week, the Diablos will play the Bouncers, and the Steel will face the top seed Rumble in the semifinal games.